So what's your mentality like going into every gig? To read the crowd and for everybody. At the end of the day, I want everybody to have a good time. Like, and that's that's the thing. Like, my whole thing is whether it's secular, whether it's gospel. Like, if it's secular, I just want to, I play all clean music. So I just want people to know that you can play clean music, have a good, clean time. And I like people to dance. Like, that's my thing. I want you to have a good, whether it's an event you sitting down, I want you to dance in your seat. Whether you, whatever, I want you to have a good time and I want it to be an experience. And that's what I love. And I love mixing old school and new school, no matter the genre. So I want you to have a good time. So my mentality is to go in there, read the crowd and make sure they have a good time, no matter what. Like that's, that's the whole mentality the whole time. I'm not a DJ who doesn't take requests because requests help you read the crowd sometimes. I'm like, I play what I want to play. This is not my event. <laughs> right. Like, so I, you know, I want everybody to have a good time smile because music has a great effect on people. You never know what people have been through during a week. So you want people to have a good time. I've had people come up to me and be like, man, I've been, you know, I've, I've been in the hospital, I've, I, whatever. And man, this made me smile today. It made me laugh today. It made me dance today. And I think that's the end. It's not about you at the end of the day, you know, make people happy. Absolutely. Now talk to me about your business, Eclectic Music Enterprise. Talk yes. To dive a little more deeper in what services are you providing for people and companies out there? Absolutely. So really it's the DJ services. So it's DJ services, radio services, um, all the above. So I do voiceovers, as you said, I do voiceovers, I do commercials, uh, do DJ services, DJ mixes, of course, DJ services as a whole and anything radio. So I also work with radio promotions too. So all of the above, all three of those factors. And during the pandemic started something new. We started doing like studio setups and radio setups. So that's when everybody started doing the, uh, everybody started doing their virtual setups and people didn't yep. know that. Like, I got this home studio. I don't know how to work it. Or I got this whole podcast, a podcast gear. I don't know how to work it. So, Hey, we'll go to your house. We'll set it all up for you to have the hardware and the software. So that's something that new started during the pandemic, but Hey, it's been lucrative been great. <laughs> Uh, very dope, and I love to see that. Now, I don't want to die too personal, but talk to me about this. How are you able to come to terms with some of the things that happen, you know, in your personal life? I've read some things that some things that happened in your childhood. So mm -hmm. a lot of people, because even myself, I had things that happened to me in my childhood that I'm still trying to get over. And I saw right. oh, yeah. Lecrae, and I thought it was dope that you guys were talking about you know, therapy, I feel like it's very important. Oh, yeah. A lot of people just neglect it or they think, oh, well, I'm going to just get, I'm going to be okay anyway. And it's, nah, it doesn't happen like that. So talk to, because a lot of times people don't realize a lot of things that happen in our past or childhood, a lot of times hinders us from being like really great, like achieving our goals, succeeding, excelling. Like a lot of times, you know, our past traumas can really, you know, just, kill our vibration to succeed just period so, you know how, like what was your process like how did you how were you able to you know basically just come to terms and just really move forward and just excel and push forward in your career therapy um therapy is major um i think people especially in the black community sometimes even more so in the christian community we kind of shun therapy like just go to god get, well god has made people he's put people in your life he's made faith-based therapists <laughs> they went to school just so they could be the person to help you and I think that's so important. And I think it's important. This is just me personally. I think it's important that you go to therapists that looks like you. Yeah. And it's like, if you're a Christian, that you go to faith-based, you know, whatever your you know religion or whatever your affiliation is, but you go with somebody that believes those same things because you can bounce that off of them. I There are certain things that I probably couldn't talk to a man about. There are certain things I may can talk to a Caucasian about. Nothing wrong with them, but there's nothing, but it was, I went to a female faith-based therapist that I could just throw everything off of, right. and it, it was an amazing thing. That, but that just works for me. I'm not saying that works for everybody, but it definitely worked for me. And for me, what I was going through, because I was molested in my childhood, what I was going through was I never told my mom. So I was like, I, was like, I got to tell my mom. But my thing, I was like, she's going to feel guilty. I love me and my mom have a super tight relationship. I was like, I got to tell my dad. Like, this is a lot. Like, this is yeah. a lot. So it was hard, but God was just putting it on my heart to do it. So I had to do it. But therapy changed my life. I went to a point where I was like super depressed, really had a hard time going to work, all of that. Because when you go through trauma, sometimes your brain suppresses what happened. And so you got to relive all of that. You're like, did it happen? Oh, no, because your brain has suppressed it. 
And my therapist explained to me that's that's how you survive. That's your survival mechanism is that you suppress what happens so you can live. But at some point you've got to you've got to come forward to it. And I always say we can't control what happened in our past. We absolutely have no control over that. But we are control for taking control of it for the future. Once you become of age, it's important that we go to therapy. It's important that we confront those situations so they don't happen again. We break generational cycles. All of that. I think that's so important. So therapy has been the greatest thing for me. Uh, that's very dope. I mean, yeah. I, I think it was so important to discuss because uh, a lot of people are just hiding or masking what they're going through, and it's really like messing them up as far as it is things and just general, like you said, like not wanting to get up and go to work. Like I, I know, I know that feeling because it was times where like I can't even get out the bed. Like I'm just messed up, like mentally. If you're enjoying the content you're watching right now, and you want to level up and create vibes at all the events you DJ at. Well, make sure you subscribe to us, right?